G'day viewers, how the devil are you? Well, this is the aftermath of the furnace burn that you saw yesterday. There's the, what's left of the alternator stator I put in. I don't know how much detail is going to come up on the vid, but I've tried getting it off and the thing's pretty much welded itself in there. I think it's welded that on the plate. That, that metal you can see on the bottom is a stainless steel plate that I had. And it also seems to have gone under the brickwork a bit there. Don't know if I can zoom it much at all and it'll show, but you might be able to see it there. So... I can't really get it out at the moment and to be honest I'm too damn lazy to pull this thing apart even though it's just a pile of bricks and redo it because I've got a few more ideas in mind you see there's a few leaves blown in there the other thing is that bit of mild steel pipe is just burned it's flaking and you know it's it's really had a hard time there and the other thing I noticed which you might pick up on is the bricks have gone quite glazed looking you can see it a lot there i think that's either from something in the oil or more likely something that's actually you know melted in the brick itself like the silica or something like that it's um it's it is really like a a very light glaze like you'd see on ceramics my wife used to do that some years ago and it's a, a very similar thing you can probably get a real good idea of it there actually it's um it's quite distinct but i thought i'd just give you that bit of an update that's the stainless steel plate and the copper bit of other rubbish is blown around but for all intents and purposes that thing was you know just on fire literally and and melted and it's probably really looking at it in one of the cooler parts of the burner i might just try and get it out but otherwise i'll just leave it there i do want to do the next one and make a bit of a crucible out of an extinguisher bottle to do some aluminium in it and see how that goes so it might be in the way i might have to pull it all out i can see there that what looks like some um some copper that's melted and blown around and whatever else i threw in there at the time but it certainly came up to temperature very nice i stuck my hand in this thing about six and a half hours after i shut it off and nearly burnt my hand off it's it's just you know this pile of old bricks uh, i think i counted 36 or something all up uh, you can see how clean it's burned in there as well and you know just the the heat that must have been in these things was was quite amazing it really was so that's that's the aftermath but uh, before i pull this thing down i'll give it a uh, another couple of hits and see what uh, mayhem that i can come up with on it and um, then you know i'm sure the bricks will just about be falling apart by then well viewers i did manage to get the stator out after all as you can see there that is uh, definitely molten copper it's um it's molt melted it and it's puddled around i did wire brush it a bit so you know you can see that it is actually copper it's not anything else um the stator is itself is interesting i don't know how well you can see that but in places it just looks like it's completely boiled um the the steel there is just it's just shot um you can see there i don't know whether that's the steel or it's something on it but it looks like something's just hit it and, and boiled. Um, it's all rather burnt there. You can see uh, there's even, might be a piece taken out of there, geez. Well, there you go, look at that. I don't know how well you can see it, but that has actually melted the steel stator. So now I'm up to doing steel or cast iron, whatever this is. You can clearly see that there's a piece missing out of there. I'd missed that myself till just then, but there you go. So I think we've shown this thing gets pretty bloody hot. And remember, that's just a pile of bricks. There's no refractory, no insulation. The thing even isn't even airtight. It leaks out the gaps in the bricks that I threw together. But if you want a demonstration of the heat of oil power, there you go. Here's a close-up of the stator where you can see it's uh, been melted. This is from the outside, obviously, and this is from the inside. I think this is where it's just caught the flame front. This camera is not the best at close-up, but looking at that, I was a second ago just flaking all that 
off there like that with my finger it looks like it's actually the steel has just burned there's a difference between melting steel and burning it but you can see there that there's a definite gap it looks like it's been welded on which I certainly haven't and um, it's just it's just got hot in that spot and melted it maybe that was you know facing the um, the flame or it was you know in the, the hot part obviously but you can see there that's that's really just burned that away Let's see if I can get a bit closer without losing too much focus and again there's the um, the copper that has come off the bottom pretty easy to see that and see by the color that it is in fact copper so there we go I've I've set a new benchmark and I didn't even realize I'm up to to steel or cast whatever this is it does look like it's laminated of some sort I don't know what they are, what it is maybe if anyone knows they can they can tell me I believe it's a Mitsubishi alternator this one it did come off a Subaru but I think they are Mitsubishi so there we go again if um, if you enjoy these um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also um, share them around on the social uh, networks and media uh, it is uh, encouraging to, to get you know good views and know that people are um, you know bothering to watch this and it's uh, they're worthwhile making so I've got uh, a whole load of uh, different projects coming up uh, including a, a burner that's going to do at least double what the one in the furnace is so stay tuned and thanks for watching